to maintain stamina while riding your horse. I'm going to give you three tips today that will help you to ride better and help you to ride longer. This was a question that came in from one of my students a couple of weeks ago. She um, was enjoying riding her horse and making great progress, but the only problem was when she started trotting, she found that she lost stamina quite quickly. So she asked me this question. I thought I would bring it to you and you might help, help you with something that you're dealing with along those lines. So three tips. Number one is to know your place of power. Everybody has a place of power, including our horses. Our horses' bodies have places of power too. When we ride, we help our horses to find their place of power, don't we? Carrying a rider. But we seem to forget about what our place of power is as a rider, as an athlete. What is the human place of power? So that's number one, is to know what your place of power is. Place of power is your strongest place, your strongest alignment where you use the least amount of effort to get huge results. What happens a lot of times if we're doing extraneous movements or if we're actually fighting against ourselves when we're riding, we get tired very quickly. That can happen when we don't have our place of power. Number two is to know how to find your place of power. All right, so we're going to lose it. Just like our horses lose it all of the time, we are going to lose it as well. There's so many things that can cause us to lose the place of power. We get distracted, we get tired. That will cause you to lose your place of power, but how do you find it? How do you get it back? How do you regain your place of power? That's a really important uh, tip for you is to know how to gain it back and how to regain it quickly because you can lose it in an instant but can you get it back in an instant and that's what i teach in my program i teach you how to find your place of power i teach you how to get it regain it once you've lost it and how to practice that in your daily life activities so that you can regain it very quickly without a thought it becomes a habit number three is to take breaks. As we're riding our horses, it's a difficult activity, isn't it? I mean, being a rider is very athletic. You need to be in shape to ride your horses a certain amount. If you're not, then feel free to take breaks, right? Take short breaks, give your horses short breaks. It doesn't mean, you don't have to keep going on and on without short breaks to comprehend what's happening, to give your body a chance to recover. Short breaks are very useful. If we get too tired, if we find that our body is getting fatigued, then that's when we can use um, this place of power, regain the place of power to help us with the, get being strong and being able to ride for longer, being really strong in our position by continually refreshing that button, refreshing the place of power button so that you're continually releasing and finding it, releasing it and finding it and adapting to everything that comes your way as you're riding. So if you have any questions, any notes for me, feel free to put them below. Um, and also, if you're interested in my program, if this is value for you and you like these tips, then um, I have a special program too that, that will teach you all of these things. So feel free to click on the link that is below this video. Click on that link and that will take you to find more information about my program. So thanks so much for being here and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.